Um, can you confirm that you have the game ball from tonight? I have no idea. I'm not going to lie. I, I have no idea. Um, I, I don't know. You know, I really don't know. I don't know. I have a ball, but I don't know if it's a game ball. It doesn't feel like the game ball to me. It's, it feels like a brand new ball. Um, like I can, I can tell, you know, from um, I played, what, 35 minutes a day. You know, I know how the, the game ball felt. You know, the, uh, the ball that I have, which I'll take and I'll give it to my mom for sure, but uh, I don't know if it's actually the game balls. But it's 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 okay, you know. Uh, life should continue. I don't actually, I don't even have the game ball from, um, which hurts me. I don't have the game ball from game six in the NBA Finals. I don't have the game ball from that either. Um, but uh, I just, it's just so fortunate. I've never seen, I've never seen this before. I feel like you can, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't even, I'm not even going to comment on that. It's, I don't know if I have the game ball, to be honest with you. Uh, and that's what you, you thought they had the game ball. That's why you ran after them in the tunnel. I knew they had the game ball. I don't I didn't think I have the hand game ball. I knew they had the ball. First of all, you cannot, I, I don't know how it works, but um, I assume, like I cannot just walk in, in any arena that I play and just take the ball. Like, Dame was fifth of all time. You know, um, I scored 60. At the end of the day, like, I, the ball that uh, they gave us, I offered it to Dame. Like, I scored 60. He scored multiple times 60. He scored 70, and, the, you know, uh, he should have the ball. But um, at the end of the day, I don't think it's fair for, you know, anybody. Uh, and I understand, like, look, Look, I understand when you score your first uh, point in the, in the NBA, like you want to have the ball or whatever the case might be. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, like we're talking about the, the guy that uh, just uh, jumped over, uh, jumped over, you know, skipped uh, Carl Corver in the all time uh, list. And uh, in my opinion, I feel like we should all, you know, kind of stop what we're doing and appreciate greatness because, uh, as Carl Cover said in the video, how many people can say they're top five in something that they do? He's, he made the, you know, the most threes in NBA history. I'm, um, you know, I'm right there. I'm chasing him. You know, uh, I'm 2,000 uh, threes away. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, at the end of the day, <clears throat> good team. They played extremely hard. They have a great coach that uh, they're very well coached. And uh, you know that we are going to see them in uh, January, January again. And we know that they're going to, you know, play at the at the best. And uh, we got to be ready, you know. And um, if we are not ready, they're going, they're going to beat us like the last two times that we saw them. Giannis, uh, Rick Carlisle said that in the tunnel, one of your guys' players elbowed the Pacers GM in the ribs. Did you see that? Are you aware of that? No, no. I, di I, I didn't see it. <coughs> I didn't see it. Um, so I, I don't, uh, I'm not going to comment on something that I didn't see. And I don't, I don't want to create a narrative that maybe that happened and it actually did not happen. Uh, maybe coach, um, uh, coach saw that and uh, I'm going to respect his uh, view and if you want to ask more questions you know next game you guys can ask um, about the whole situation and who you know elbowed who uh, I didn't see that